Hey guys, Andrew here, or Big Bag, and what do you want to call me? Here with another figure review. And today's figure review is going to be on the Avengers Age of Ultron Iron Man vs. Ultron Target exclusive set. So, yeah, I just got back from Target and I got this. So, yeah, let's take a look at the packaging. I don't. Before you look, take take a look at the packaging. I'm just gonna say I don't usually do a lot of Marvel reviews. It's just you know reasons. It's just because my viewers mostly watch kaiju and dress dress park stuff. So yeah, so this is different. And plus, I want why I want to do a review on this is because there's only like a couple reviews on this set. And I think it's a really cool set. So yeah, take a look at the packaging. Got the Avengers Age of Ultron logo right there. Got Ultron right there. Ultron, not Prime, but yeah, Ultron 2.0, got Ultron 2.0 right there, and yeah, got the two blaster things, the target, only a target symbol, logo, Frenchers, back, got that, got the figures in action, doesn't really look in, that really intense, see right here, got read up right there, you can pause and read if you want to. There you go, got the Avengers logo, we have this res thing to it. You got our stuff and bum. Okay, let's take these two out of their plastic and cardboard prison of despair and, and take a better look at them. And here's the set out of its packaging, and this is a really, really cheap, but uh, okay set. So, first off, let's start with the figure, the main reason I bought this set and the main reason... A lot of people might get the set is for the Mark One Ultron. Put the light down a little more. Get a better look at him right here. Just by looking at this guy, just tell already just how much detailing. The detailing is really nice on this guy. Love the cold paint right there. What's the wires in there were painted? Got. You know, all the things. Detailing is really nice, so you can see. So, all the things got the logo, the numbering right there. Got numbering peg holes at the bottom. Got the behind. Got the wires. You practic practically see right through them right there. Yeah, detailing is really nice on this figure. As for articulation on this guy. He, his arms rotate 360, no restriction. Well, the right one seems a little stiff. It somewhat grinds right there. As you can see, it sort of just gets stuck, so we have to force it a little more. The head rotates 360, goes a little bit that much down, that much up. The legs go that much forward, that much back. Same with both legs. You can see right there. Let me bring in the ruler right here. Give me a second. Ultron stands about Mark One. Ultron stands about a little over four inches. Yeah, about four inches tall. That's pretty much about Mark One Iron Man. Not Iron Man, Mark 1, Ultron. It's pretty nice. Probably the best for the set. Yeah. Now let's move on to the, the another figure. Let's start off with Iron Man. There goes Ultron. Iron Man, first off, comes with this blaster thing. It's rubbery, as you can see. It makes no sense, but, oh. You can only fit on his left arm, as you can see. Just sort of clips in there. Can't fit on his right arm, as you can see. You can't even force it to, but his thumb is right there. Gets stuck. Yeah, not much about that. Now it's for Iron Man Mark 43, I think this is. I'm not sure. Looks pretty nice. I like detailing the paint abs. See, detailing is nice on this figure. Really like it. As for articulation, his head swivels that. Swivels 360, goes up and down. His arms rotate 360. His legs go that much forward, that much back. Same with both legs. 
Now, let me show you something that's somewhat disappointing. Yeah, you see that? Well, you see that? You see that? Iron Man? No, 2015, 2012, Iron Man. Yeah, there's a difference. 2015, 2012. No, no elbow, no ball jointed the uh, elbow shoulders. No elbow articulation. No leg articulation. Look at this double. Need knees, hinge, swivel. Look at this. Look at this. This is this is like five years older than this one. Look at this. Okay. You know I'm not gonna take this whole video just to rant over a figure. But that was just a size comparison. Why Hasbro? Sorry about that. But yeah, this Iron Man figure is pretty nice. Looks pretty cool. Put him back over there. Mark one old Ultron. Now for Ultron. 2.0. First off, scene with Iron Man, he comes with this blaster thing bobber right here. Looks weird. Looks like candy. It's really rubbery, as you can see. It clicks on both of his arms. You can put on this one or this one. Doesn't really matter. As for detailing this guy, it's pretty bad because it's just silver, so yeah. You got red right there, no match with the thingy bobber, this blaster thing. His head's really puny. Look in the back. See the detail is okay, not the best. Not only really Hasbro fitted a, t a detailing, but it's okay. Still make up everything. And as for articulation, his head swivels 360, goes that much down, that much forward. His shoulders rotate 360. His legs go that much forward, that much back, some of both legs, that one goes up that much forward, that much back. That's pretty much about Ultron. Put those guys in back. Boop, 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 there we go. So yeah, this set's pretty, uh, that's all I can say about the set. Articulation is bad, detailing's okay, price is a little okay. I paid fifteen dollars for a set, which is eh, decent, I'll say. Cause you know each figure costs like six bucks, so that's okay deal. Mostly bought it for uh, this guy right here. So if you like, if you like the Avengers: Age of Ultron movie, you should probably get this set. It's that Target only, Target exclusive set. So go to your local Target and go get this set if you really uh, like Ultron or just like the movie. And yeah. If you like this video, please hit the like button and subscribe and leave a comment down below. And you have a wonderful rest of the day. And Big Bad Guy signing out. Peace.